Hey! hey. <laughs> First of all, fuck you. <laughs> Welcome to Stupid Movies, where we watch them so you don't have to. Okay, so disclaimer at the beginning of this episode. The following movie that we are going to discuss sucked ass and sucked balls. I wouldn't mind having my ass and balls sucked. At the same time? By the same person? Or by two. Uh, it depends, one person. How, depends how much, you know, how big their heads are. And this week we watched Hacksaw. 2020. 70 minutes long. I don't know if it was rated. I don't care. Uh, it was directed by a person who will remain anonymous because I don't want to slight him. And it starred some people. So, we were working yep. and we needed a saw to hack something up. So we used a hacksaw. Thank you. What happened when we hacksawed? I don't know. Fuck this movie. Hacksaw is... About a killer who lives in an abandoned building that's going to get torn down. And some of his fans, <clears throat> I guess, go to check it out. And he kills them. Bada bing, bada boom. Eventually. Is there anything we liked about this? I like that Courtney Palm had a... Small cameo. I like Courtney Palm. Yeah, I like Courtney Palm. I liked that it ended. I I did like the opening song. Yeah, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. I didn't like the visuals that went with the opening song. No, because you say you like that it ended. I did. I liked that it ended. I do like that too. It had an end point. <clears throat> it did have an end point. I like the idea. Killer at an abandoned building has fans. It's been been done before. Much better. Much better. It did have some blood and gore. It did have some blood and gore. And it didn't look too terrible. It looked practical. It looked practical, which I can appreciate. Some of it was a little hard to figure out what it was supposed to be blooding and goring. Like the opening scene? Yeah. We'll get to that. Uh, anything else, my dude? No. So, um, you know, I don't like it when we don't have much to like. So what did we not like about Hacksaw? I didn't like this movie. I did not enjoy this movie in the... Like this this movie was terrible. It opens with a scene that I, for my sanity, am telling myself was a guy taking a power drill to a woman's leg. And it was a very badly done prosthetic for the leg effect. Because if it is not that, he was shoving a power drill in a vagina. On. It was not just like shoving it in, but it was like, and I'm, I refuse to, my, for my sanity, I refuse to accept that that's what happened. It was a bad prosthetic. I have a confirmation from one other person, not on this show, that the, yes, that was indeed a vagina. Were they involved in the movie? No. Then I don't take their no. I'm, just, I'm just saying. I know, but I refuse I'm, to accept I'm, it okay. for my own sanity. Vagina! <laughs> wow, it's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah, what the hell with that opening scene? I love blood and gore, but that was just um, too uncomfortable, right? I almost called it at that point. When, when I was watching, I almost called and said, that's it, I'm going to pick a different movie. <laughs> right. And I wish I had. I know. Yeah, I, well, I wish you had too. But I kept telling myself that I wasn't seeing what I thought I was seeing. After the opening scene, it took way too long to get anywhere. Mm. They had like a half an hour montage of them fucking driving. Yeah. Terrible. Terrible. And you know, to go with that, a lot of this movie was like from the point of view handheld camera. Like yeah. found footage. It's not a found footage movie though, but it looked and felt like one. It had all the bad parts of a found footage movie. Exactly. Like the worst parts of it. And I'm not a found footage fan to begin with, unless it's done really well. No. Uh-uh. Uh, the Heart Show? Oh, fuck that. Was... <laughs> No, I just hated it, man. That yep. guy was obnoxious. I wanted to slap him. I wanted to run him over with my car. I wanted... I, I, why? Okay, I, I really want to talk about this. It is 2022. I mean, this movie came out in, I think it was 2020, I said? Yes. Yeah. So it's not like it's old. Right. I have seen a lot of movies guilty of this, where they are parodying <clears throat> local television and making it super shitty like that. Yeah. In the 80s, understandable. Early 90s, even? 
Maybe so. We have full professional production companies now that run local TV. Yeah. Okay. About the only part of local TV that's going to be shitty like that is commercials. Right. And usually those are mm-hmm. like used car lot commercials or mom and pop store commercials. Not a whole fucking show. If this were in reality, his show would have multiple camera crews. Yep. They would have microphones. They would have it scripted out. They would have a production company cutting it together to make it look good. Right. They would be putting in special effects, voiceover work, transitions, more than just a logo floating up here. That shitty looking local TV show that keeps getting parodied doesn't happen anymore outside of parodies. No one does that anymore. Fucking stop. Yeah. We've seen quite a few of these lately Mm -hmm. where they're doing this. And it's stupid. You just look like a moron. Fucking knock it off. If you're doing an 80s throwback, that's fine. Maybe. Maybe. But even that, keep it limited. Don't make it half your fucking beeline plot like this was. Mm -hmm. And then if you do, make sure it fucking goes somewhere. Touche. Preferably in the trash. (laughs) Exactly. Yeah, this was slow and boring. Like... The definition of slow and boring. Courtney Palm was in here for, what, 15 seconds and we never see her again? I only knew she was in here because I knew she was in here. Yeah. So I was watching for her. Right. Uh, that's a bummer. Because yeah, that was one of the only positives for me, was seeing her. Since we're, we're talking about people who are in this movie. Yeah. Okay. You have a 70 fucking minute movie. You can't have one guest star and three special appearances. Yeah. It's a 70 fucking minute movie. They're just actors in the movie at that point. I would, so this movie had a total cast of what, like 10? Half yeah. of them are special appearances. Yeah. Fuck you. Speaking of the cast and characters, the old guy who was the killer ended up being the killer. Darbin Ron Perlman. Yes. Right? I'm like, who is this guy? They should have they should have put Ron Perlman in. He would have played a much better killer. It would have been much better with Ron Perlman. Yeah. He was a terrible killer. No. He sucked. No. He was not. Uh, threatening. He was not scary. He was. It was stupid. I don't think I liked any of the cast. No, I, I don't think either. there was a single one that I was like, this person did a good job swimming through this turd. Yep. But they didn't. They, they did all not. all just took a mouthful of that turd and enjoyed it. Uh, the story was terrible. The story was fucking dumb. And it was edited really choppy. This reminded me of a Beelzebub movie, but oh worse. God. Yeah, I could totally see that. I do have one thing. I okay. remember what it was. All and right. it is insightful and it is important. Okay. Don't put drills inside of vaginas. Oh! Now that doesn't seem um, like a good thing to do. I don't feel like I should have to tell people this, but apparently we do. Don't do it. That is not the kind of drilling that those like. No. Terrible. Do okay. not watch this. If you see a copy of it, throw it away. You're doing the world's favor. Get a hacksaw. Get a hacksaw and cut it in half. <sighs> yeah, all right. I think you obviously know what I'm going to say. I didn't like anything about this movie. It makes me sad that this was my pick. I hope this is not the future of the movie industry, because if it is, I'm fucking out. I'm done. I won't watch movies anymore. I'm just going to read books, and that'll be it. Because this is an art. This is an art that we take seriously. Like, we joke around a lot, but we do take movies seriously. We yeah. love movies. It's life. And you just took, like, the Mona Lisa and took a shit on her face. You gave her a Cleveland steamer and filmed it, and that was this movie. And honestly, at this point, I'm so angry, you get a negative one out of eight. Yeah. I uh, did not like this movie in one bit. I didn't like any of it. Completely agree. Ditto, 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 ditto. <laughs> I'm going to go 0.1. Wow. Out of eight. Have you seen Hacksaw? Don't. Don't. If you have not, we do not recommend, obviously. And you know what? If you're the kind of person who enjoyed this movie, uh, please go down below and hit unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We... We don't have a lot of subscribers, but I would be willing to lose one over this. Right. So you know the uh, stuff down below. Do all that. If you're here, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Uh, thanks for watching us uh, talk about this thing, even though this was a struggle. If you like our reviews, head over to facebook.com slash stupidmovies, Instagram at stupidmovies at the horror funk, at piss off. Piss off. <laughs> and you can email us at stupidmoviesoutlook.com. I'm done talking about this thing. Yep, me too. Goodbye. And it's getting so fucking irritating.
aggravating. Irritating? You just I'm getting aggravating watered. and irritating. You just made up a word. I'm so angry. You're I'm getting, getting watered. <laughs> irrigated.